Probably an archetype in modern, because Stoneforge Mystic's not a card. Callblade kind of relied on Stoneforge Mystic, and swords in general aren't particularly good in modern, because there's so many Culligan's commands and abrades, which lends to the comedy of why is Stoneforge Mystic banned. Alright, for those of you that are just joining us live or on YouTube in the future, we've got Necrotic Ooze alongside Gristlebrand and Borborygmos here, along with Fauna Shaman, Seder Wayfinder, and Faithful Student to get these things into the bin. And then we also have Eldritch Evolution to just turn Hootings and Tassigers into these big giant monsters up top here. What's going on, extras? Should I message you first about two versus Nope, just go just go straight through the form alcohol, and I I accept or reject from there. Hey, get to be here live for a while. Mini Koopa, thank you for the two-month resub there. I appreciate that. Welcome back. We'll get our Faithless looting on here. We already have a Borborygmos to bin. Um, Celestial Colonnade on one. Man, modern players love them Celestial Colonnades. I think I'm going to bin an Evolution here because they're generally pretty bad against counter spells. Because remember, sacrificing a creature to Evolution is part of the cost of putting it on the stack. So they will that will not have a, a happy fun time result for us. What's going on, C. Marlin? Welcome to a live one. I appreciate I appreciate this, uh, you being here. And let's get it in for tomorrow. Sounds good, Red. Thanks for the support. If you're going to be around tonight, Red, I think after I'm done with the magic portion of today's stream, we're going to do... Um, we're going to play some Overwatch again this evening on Christie's channel after I'm done. Like 8.30 ish tonight, cornfield time. Why why would that be bugged? That's actually accurate. We are first league, first league match one, game one. I have to imagine that this control deck's probably a tough matchup for this. Has it really been three months already? Nickel, thank you for the three month resub. Thanks for the quarter of a year and welcome back. I do appreciate it. Unfortunately, this Seder Wayfinder found a second Borborygo, so we've not found a Gristle Pig yet for this Necrotic Ooze to be good. Send these bits to Green Black Elves and have a great day. Thank you for the bits, Sigurat. I appreciate it. Will do. As always, just a friendly reminder that anybody that cheers 100 bits or more or donates a dollar or more can always use that to bump a deck in the queue. The people that support my stuff, um, the people that support my stuff dictate what we do and when we do it. What's Christie's channel? Christie's channel, I do not have it on my thing. It'll be uh, twitch.tv forward slash curly and I'll link it in chat. I plan to uh, raid and host her channel when we're done this evening. Won my first ever REL event yesterday. Feels good. Nice, Doug. Congrats. I personally am not particularly good at winning tournaments. I'm good at like, you know, getting in the top eight, but winning winning tournaments isn't really my forte. But congrats on your win. Breeden Pool, thank you for the seven months and welcome back. I'm a simple man. I see Lotleth Troll and Eldritch Evolution and I cheer. This deck does have a lot of what I can only describe as fan favorites in them. In it. Definitely in the market to flash this back here. We've got this Fatal Push we're not really doing anything with. This Fourth Land we're not really doing anything with. Um, all right, here's a real question. Is it accurate to call you a magic online vending machine, an MTG vending machine? Probably not unreasonable. So, how do we feel, like, we're playing against a control deck, obviously. How do we feel about binning both Fatal Pushes and just, like, trying to get to 8 lands for this Gristle Pig? I think I'm going to bin the Fatal Pushes and just try to make it to 8 lands. Like, there's probably a good chance they path this Lotleth Troll at some point, right? Uh, you can always find the current queue here. Can you ping Discord when you guys stream Overwatch? I always see the tweet when I wake up with the order. Yeah, we'll do Wannabe Beetle. Oh, you know what? They're probably, they're like certainly on the, uh, on Terminus, right? With this Think Twice here. Mismatched Think Twices. What a savage opponent. Have a little, have a little respect for the game. I have no clue what's going on. If you hard cast Gristle Pig this league, sounds good, Red. Also, like, we can also just, like, bane Gristle Pig at any point because we have, uh, we have Lotless Troll here, too.
Just got back from judging an RPTQ this weekend. So tired of watching good decks in a bad format. Let the beeps slow. Will do, Jackal Girl. That's what I'm here for. Do we play comp in Overwatch? We do not. We play quick play. Because I am a casual plebeian. I play Overwatch the same way I tend to play Magic, which is to say I play it to have fun. Which is weird, I know. Alright, so let's go ahead and attack with... I'm going to attack with both of these. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and play Tassiger out. Because Tassiger will hopefully encourage my opponent to use a counterspell. And then we can slam Necrotic Ooze and kill them. No, you've not alcohol. That one we've had we've there's been a lot of there's been a lot of cutsies back and forth and all around. Oh, I should have fetched first, right? Because now I can't activate Tessiger. Another month closer to my sword, although I'm still not forgiving what you did to my spooks. For the record, I'm willing to accept Bant Spirits like Andre Strowski played. I think Strowski's take on I think Strowski's take on blue white spirits is really sweet. Overwatch is a lot of fun. I played um, I played a lot of Counter Strike Source uh, growing up as a growing up as a teenager and adolescent. And uh, Overwatch is the first FPS game I've played in a really long time that I that I can be semi bad at and still enjoy. Kino, time to begin my training to defend the realm. It is indeed. Thank you for the half a year of support. Yeah, honestly, at this point we're kind of like on the fair deck beatdown plan, right? And this is, I think this is how this deck is, is, is most often going to beat a control deck. We want to like put them in a position where they need to either die to our fair plan or get beat down by the combo. Like they might even like cryptic tap draw next turn. What are your thoughts on the hardened modular deck? It's very close, Jackal Girl. Very close. We've played just straight green and green white a couple of times on stream, and I think the Hardened Scales deck is very good. It's doing something. It's it's moderately interactive. Has strong linear draws. Um, it, it basically just checks all the boxes you want to check in modern. Hot mess of unbalanced whatever. Listen, listen. They've rebalanced their game a lot over the years. I'm told. I'm told Mercy used to be really imbalanced. I've only been playing for like the last six months or so. So not very long. And like I said, we play very casually. What's going on, Nick Fishman? Welcome to a live one. I usually play Brigitte or Mercy. You're pathing my Tassiger. Sure, deal. Get me, get me closer to casting this gristle pig. You are leading on the bit total. Alright, so. We're going to start by attacking with both of these. You might, we might just tap eight lanes and put Gristle Brand into play as Richard Garfield intended. The Soulscar Mage build was really good. I'm definitely, that's what I'm going to be testing for the Invitational if I end up going later this year. Rain them with cupcakes like mana from the heavens. Thank you, Extras. Hopefully they just like snap path my Lotless Troll. We like bin Gristle Pig and then untap and kill them. Or just cast our, cast our Necrotic Ooze and kill them. Sure. Orissa and Roadhog. Well, we just we just play for funsies, so like it's not nothing serious. Do you have any changes to the deck list yesterday from Soul Scar Mage? No, you, if you check the wrap up segment, I I talked at the end about not having any changes to make. Wielding the sword of memes and modern staples. Going on, Matt Medic. Thank you for the uh, the support there. All right. 
This is the way we play the ooze, play the ooze, play the ooze. This is the way we play the ooze, do 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 do. This is the way we throw the lands, throw the lands, throw the lands. Do 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 and I have a 20 minute timeout. I didn't get my answer. I got you, Chef Seth. Nicholas Bolas. Thank you for the bits. Kill him! Kill him with lands! This is, this is what we're going for here. Oh, we should have declined the path. You're right, because we wanted one more land in our deck. We could have hard cast Crystal Pig. You're not wrong. Andre Strowski, it is. One, two, three, four, five. Sounds good. Sounds good. Thank you for the support, Nicholas. Nick. You said Nick. You said you wanted me to call you Nick. I'm going to try and remember that. All right. So... I think some amount of these evolutions are definitely coming out. And these fatal pushes are obviously coming out. Uh, this is easily an abrupt decay matchup. They're going to have a lot of uh, rest in pieces and attention tiers and stuff like that. So I probably want these Reclamation Sages as well. Uh, this is not an Elishnorn matchup. Seems like... Uh, can I... Can chat? I get to watch my deck. What's going on, Furious? Yeah, welcome. We just beat... Uh, if you missed the first game, we just were up a game here against Blue-White Control. What is a timeout? A timeout means you can't type in chat for 10 minutes. I got you, Lythanol. Kind of, it's kind of a meme of sorts on this channel because there's a lot of people that get like genuinely upset when we time them out for breaking my chat rules. That has come to a point where people like make fun of the people that get upset for being timed out by asking for timeouts. It's basically that's the TLDR for people that don't don't get the timeout the timeout requests on this channel. There's a lot of Magic players that don't understand what actual atrocities are, so to them. Not being able to type in Twitch chat for 10 minutes is like an atrocity that's ruined their life. Uh, Elish Norn is meant to Eldritch Evolution off of a Delve creature. Uh, timeouts can be longer um, if you want, but the default is 10 minutes. How does the timeout feel? Can you show me? Got you. Uh, we played an iteration of this deck before. I think last time we played this deck, it didn't have Eldritch Evolution in it. Or maybe it did and it didn't have Delve Threats. Yeah, I think Delve Threats is what it was missing. I forget 100%. I, I need to look back at what we played previously. Just met a merciless slaughter today. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Happy Monday, folks. Uh, there's no way this is a keep, right? Although we do have four. We're, we, we are halfway to casting a gristle pig, chat. Jeff, just ignore me and Nick for a while. Sounds good, Red. Yeah, definitely, Captain Jack. We'll set up a private call because Christy captures my video through through um, through Discord as well. They could have a rip. That's true. Yeah, I guess I guess they're gonna. I'm gonna keep because they're probably gonna have Arti our enchantment hate post board more, more likely. Leyline of Sanctity. All right, all right, sure. That was not the enchantment hate I was expecting, but that'll do. Look at that. Fifth land. Working our way towards casting this Gristle Pig. 15, Pimped Up Monk. Thanks for hanging out for so long and defending the realm from Twitch chat. And Nightstar, slowly making my way to the sword. Thanks for the great content. Thanks for the great support, Nightstars. Thanks for the five months. Welcome back. Welcome to everybody. Thanks for keeping me employed here, folks. It's still, it's still kind of wild to me that I get to call this a job. I'm sure at some point the novelty will wear off, but it's it's weird. It's weird. You ever you ever like have those those social situations where you're like interacting with new adults and you're like explaining what you do as jobs? Explaining what I do as a job is strange. It's an so interesting experience. Uh, 
All right, so. Oh, that's who you want this one. Nope, stop it. Stop it. Stop moving, Moto. Need you to aim for another goal. I need you to hard cast Gristle Pig and Borb. All right, so do I kill the Leyline or do I kill the Search here? I think I just killed the Search here. I am standing and playing. I have a, I have a standing desk. Quite really love my standing desk. And if you think you might love a standing desk too, you should definitely wait to order one because they're supposed to be setting me up with a referral code. Yeah, they're supposed to have an actual referral program soon. I've already sold a lot of their desks, so. I'd really love if they paid me something for my shilling. As an assistant to a clownfish breeder in Arizona can relate to the lengthy job explanation. You know, it's funny. I I basically, like, I, I when I explain what I do to people, I like determine how much time I want to spend talking to them. And then that determines whether or not I, I explain what Twitch is or I just go, I make YouTube videos. Because if you just say you make YouTube videos, that's something most people get, right? Like, that's understandable. This in the play. I run an online daycare. <laughs> that that's a good one that I might use in the future. Read. This is uh, bad for us because it lets them protect their Jace the Mind Sculptor here. I think my favorite part about Twitter adding the ability to mute people is you can send a very loud and obvious middle finger to people by actually blocking them now. You're like, I could have just muted you, but you were so obnoxious I felt the need to block you instead. Can we win this without ooze? Maybe. So it's unfortunate that things have lined up the way they have here. If I would have had one more card in my discard pile, we could have played Hootie plus Evolution this turn. But I can only get Hootie down to three mana, so I'm short on Hootie plus plus Evolution this turn. So yeah, I'm just going to go Fetch Shock, play Hoots Magoots. Play the old, play the old Hoots Magoots here. If they path him, we're only like one more land off of just casting Gristle Pig. They did have green last game. It does not have zombie fish in it. So it's unfortunately not Hootie and the Blowfish. Yeah, in decks like this where you have access to Hootie and Tassiger, you're better off just playing those two generally because you don't really need to evolve into nine drops. What's going on, Jim? Howdy, howdy. Hope you had a good stream this morning. Saw you on for a bit. You tucked my thing. All right, well, are we dead? Nah. I guess there's a chance they boarded out most of their counter spells. Jim with the raid, speaking of. Hope you had a good one. Welcome to folks who went over from Jim's channel. Am I a fan of any sports teams? No, I don't really follow any sports. I because I have eight lands gristle pig, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait and see if the hard cast gristle pig resolves, okay? There's there's a chance they pivoted their deck, especially with like these ley lines and stuff, to play more to the board and less to counter spells. So I don't really know exactly what they're doing. Fertile Ground Tefri is kind of sweet. That's like a combo, right? 
This can go on any land, right? So you can just put it on a basic too. Well, if if we weren't dead before, if we if we weren't dead before that that was are we being out memed chat? I think I think we're being out memed. They just furl ground Tefri ramped into Nexus of Fate. That is it is definitely a thing that has happened. Is this exactly what Nasif was playing? I thought it, I thought Nasif was playing like a, a build with like fog. All right, I'm gonna concede to another Nexus of Fate here. Meme Meme Monday is celebrated by everybody in the Moto community. Remember that time they printed Nexus of Fate thinking it wasn't a, uh, thinking it wasn't standard playable and there's people playing it in modern now? It's always, always friendly reminders that their designers are good at their jobs. <laughs> yeah, of course Nexus is an instant. It's an instant and you can never get rid of it. That's fine. We were probably dead even without the Nexuses of Fate, but the Nexuses are definitely Nexi. Is it Nexi or Nexuses? What do we what do we think? Amaril, just in time for opponent to take all the turns. Thank you for the 713 subscription. Welcome back. Thank you for the continued support. Nexin. Nexin? Nexin can't be right. Nexi feels like Nexi has gotta be right. What's going on, Brecken? Afternoon. Did your, did your school semester start back up, Brecken? Most most colleges are back by now, right? I guess some trimesters usually don't start till September. Developers, 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 developers. I wonder if they never gave it to the playtest team because it wasn't ever in a set. Gosh, that sounds like something that could actually be true, right? That sounds like something that could actually be true. All right, we've got an extra hoodie now. They don't have a path. We get to uh, get to get our bonus shaman going on. Nexus is both singular and plural. All right, it's like it's like the moose of extra turn spells. All right, now I'd like Schwamps to enable four X black for my gristle prig. Unfortunately. We have we don't have a lot going on for this hoodie. Hoodie, hoodie needs some help. Next ban is Nexus of Fate in all formats. If I wanted you to play any random deck, would four X Gideon Allies into Kyra, would you take fifty? Yeah, definitely pimped up monk. I am I am up for most reasonable deck building uh, challenges with fifty dollar donations. So I will I will build most things for fifty. So long as it's not like a really bad card. Even, I'd probably even build moderately bad for 50, let's be honest. Like the, like the hourly rate on that. Well, unfortunately, Hootie, Hootie not looking particularly good. Man, this is Tefri. They're just gonna like bury us in a box and throw away the key. Just a ley line. God bless. Things are not looking good for our hero chat. You could maybe. I almost discarded the the second hoodie to the Lotleth troll before it got terminus, but I was like, we'll just draw a land or something to put a card in our discard pile, right? Would you build Elspeth Tribal for fifty? Yes, yes, I would. Yeah, meme Monday. A lot of smoke in the PNW cleared out. What is what's the what's the PNW? 
That's a good one. You can find us a land, and it puts three cards in the bin. Sign me up. Ding, ding, ding. It puts four cards in the bin. And then if they... If they want to... If they want to path Hootie here, they're actually going to have to... They're actually going to give us... We're almost at Gristle Pig Man, all right? To Bolt Hollowed One for 50. Yeah, probably. I mean, that can't be that much worse than just regular Hollowed One, right? Yeah, some of these... Some of these decks have actually been playing Remand, which is weird to me, but whatever tickles your fancy, I suppose. Strickles, thank you for the brand new Twitch Prime support. I do appreciate that. Welcome, welcome, welcome. There's a lot of great people making a lot of great stuff. Thanks for supporting mine this month with that. Could Tybalt actually be a budget Goblin Lore? Yeah, I mean, it's not strictly worse, right? It's like mostly worse, but not strictly worse. All right, so I'm going to go and attack here for four. Now, I'm going to attack with both of these because if they want to fire up this to eat the Seder Wayfinder, I get to Eldritch Evolution this without them having Counter Magic up. Snapcaster Path, okay. Four Omens and zero Mountains, maybe. Can I trade you my shovel for a timeout? I don't know. Thank you for the three-month resubscription. I appreciate that. Welcome. Welcome back. Need a... Uh, what's the word I'm searching for? Heartless Summoning, Gore Claw, Lupine, Prototype. I don't know what all those cards are. If you just message me in private things or, or send me money. Just send me money and put what's in the in the comments. Put what you want in the comments. Make Just make demands, chat. Just make demands. All right, six mana, four, four, Trampler, go. They only have one card in hand here, so good chance we get to, like, Collective Brutality and then Eldritch Revolution next turn. It's a search for Escanta. Sweet, we're gonna have a window to make, make Gristle Pig happen here. I got nothing. Happy four months. Confusion is bliss. Thank you for the third of a year of support, and welcome back. This just smack us with Colonnade. Come on. Come on. Why do I care? Oh, they have Leyline, so I can't. I was like, why do I care about Leyline? Camp Brutality, then they have Leyline. I get it now. I get it now. I was like, what did, why do we care about Leyline? I was confused there for a hot second. Okay, attack for four. It's fine. We can still put a pig into play. Still put a pig into play. This little piggy went wee, wee, wee. All the way home. I would like. This Gristlebrand, please. And we don't want to draw with Gristlebrand here because if they path him, they'd kill us with Colonnade if we go to four. So we need to we need to play a little conservative here for a hot minute. Listen, literacy is a big problem. We actually have a treasure hunt deck in in the queue. There's a treasure hunt. Uh, there's a treasure hunt seismic assault swans deck that's going to come up on a Monday eventually. Well, they tapped the Colonnade now. So they tapped Colonnade, which means I can draw seven now at this point. Uh, Collective Brutality is a sorcery. Gosh, this card would be absurd absurd if it was an instant. Should we have killed Snapcaster there? No, I don't think so. I might turn this into a Reclamation Sage and then make Collective Brutality live to take a card out of their hand. Can we put my tier two sub towards treasure hunt swans? I can, but we can, I can't play it today. I've already got, already got everything all lined up for today. And hunt swans is still pretty far down. 10 will get it closer, but it's still pretty far down. All right. Give me, give me some cards. Give me some cards. Give me some cards. All right, they're at 11. They're at 11. Uh, I think I'm just leaving this there, yep. 
So they only have one card in their hand. That's a Borborygmos. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and... Brutality, kill their thing. I'm going to try and kill Tefri here. Oh, it's less than 500 to cut in line, Maddie. A deck's only got to get to 100 points to cut in line. Oh, I guess I'm... I guess I'm dead to this colonnade, right? No, I think taking Tefri off the table is pretty important. I can, I mean, I can put Tasker into play and evolve into a Gristlebrand if I want. I'm trying to figure out... I'm trying to figure out if I have a better line than that, though. You ever have days where you feel like you lose a lot? We definitely have days where we lose a lot. No, I have a, I have a fourth Crystal Brand in my deck. They Tefri tucked the other one. They didn't exile him. So I have a fourth Crystal Brand and another Borborygmos in my deck. There isn't, there's not a Crystal Brand in exile, chat. I could evolve this into an ooze. Well, if I loot first, I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna hit the thing. There's a there's a gristle brand in my thing. Yeah, Tefri Tux. He doesn't exile. All right. So I'm gonna do this. We're gonna be dead to a path to exile here. I think that's the line though. Dredge isn't super linear. Dredge is actually a very grindy deck. If you think Dredge is super linear, I would advise you not to play it because you're not going to have enough experience with it. All right. Dead, uh, dead uh, spot removal plus colonnade attack. I guess they get a good bit of looks here too. Oh no, they didn't mill anything. Oh no. All right, our opponent is Cast Explore, which I guess is technically optimal, right? Because it lets the mud tap all their stuff. It's like se seven mana, untap your lands, draw a card. Explored. I'm not dead yet. Yeah, Rad, but that, that line also still loses to Path to Exile. And I think if both my lines lose to Path to Exile, I'd rather have Gristlebrand in play. Because they just, like, Path my Ooze before they fire up the Colonnade. Like, both both my lines lose to Path to Exile. I missed a donation. I did. Pimped up Monk. Thank you. Sorry. For any deck with four Gideon Allies in the car, if possible, being non-blue. It will likely be non-blue. Very, very likely be non-blue. All right, they got one, two, three, four, five. So th if this find path finds path, we die because they fire up colonnade and path this. They have to be like incredibly unlucky to brick here, right? They even have seven mana to to nexus again. Their deck is really sweet. Uh, they have they have Leyline of Sanctity in play, so going for Lethal wasn't an option. Yeah, not not just like snap picking something here has to be good for us. Maybe it's a Planeswalker. Maybe it's like a, a Jace or a, or a Tefri.
Serum Visions. All right, that bodes well for us. So they're taking they're taking a random over whatever their option, their alternative over Serum Visions was here. Am I dead? Did I die? Ooh, am I gonna get to attack with my pig? Is this little piggy gonna go wee, wee, wee all the way home? I think our pig's gonna get in there, chat. I think our pig's gonna get in there. Whew! But still my heart. But still my heart. Our gristle piggy connected. All right, so. I think I just cast Borborygmos, right? That's a good question, what they do with Visions. They topped a card with Visions. Looting could find lethal. You have 500 bits for hard cast Borborygmos. Well, that's... That's the easy EV play right there. I like when people make my plays easy. <laughs> Looting could potentially hit a series of crazy cards to win the game, but I'm going to put Borby into play. Oh, Borb can kill walkers. That's true. I'm a Borbie girl in a Borbie world. Life in plastic. It's fantastic. You can comb his hair. Do 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 Yeah, what did they top? This is another Nexus. They must have topped a Nexus, right? Please stop. They're asking me to stop doesn't encourage me to stop. Let's go, Borby. Oh, ho, ho, yeah. Listen, asking me to stop doesn't encourage me to stop. In fact, it encourages me to do the exact opposite. Pay him to stop. <laughs> oh. What's my Chipotle order? Uh, veggie bowl, no beans, fajita veggies, uh, mild source salsa, corn salsa, cheese, extra cheese, guac, extra cheese on top of the guac. Uh, white or brown rice, depends on how I feel, depends on how I feel, could go either way. Oh, sour cream too. I get sour cream. This stupid ley line. I didn't think ley line was going to be important, but it's been very annoying. It was rattled off way too quick quickly. Listen, as a as an overweight American, I eat my fair share of Chipotle. I I definitely qualified for Chiptopia and had free catering. What's my opinion on Hearthstone? Cubs actually have a. I have it linked here. There's a there's a Hearthstone article. Yeah, thoughts on Hearthstone. I played I played a good bit of Hearthstone. It's okay. It's a, it's a decent game. I think I think Hearthstone has a lot more engaging in decision making than a lot of people like to imply. Like there's a lot of a lot of people before I tried, before I tried. Um, I'm not obese, but I am overweight. Like I'm I'm a solid 200 pounds. I mean, I'm six foot two, but like two, six foot, 200 pounds. I don't have that much muscle. I, I am, I am overweight. Any unique decks do well for us lately? We played Blue Red Tempo last night. Does that still count? I had Soul Scar Mage in it. The best part about Chipotle too, if you don't want to be an overweight American, is you can... You can actually, it's enough food for two meals. So, like, it's like an $8 burrito bowl, but, like, it's $4 a meal, basically.
Oh no! Oh, I thought it was a terminus. All right. And this is just the worst. All right, they pathed Borb, which probably means I could start auto passing. You're six six. That's uh, you're a big boy, Nikki. Nivek, big boy. Yeah, but I've I've got a lot of flab, Red. I've got I've got some movies, and I've got I've got some I've got some flopping around here. It's a how the weight is distributed matters. Oh, you know what the worst is? I can't even know possible play yield all because Gristle Brand is a play. All right, the the worst part here is I don't even know if we're actually dead or not. That's true. I could activate and just let them kill me with Colonnade. I go to the gym like two to four days a week, depending. I like exercising. This is game three, unfortunately. It's a shame. If it was game two and we were up a game, we could definitely time them out in the next one. Is this better or worse than taking turns? I think it's worse. It's more annoying because, like, we don't actually know if we're dead. Just mono, mono Nexus of Fate. Which, which designer decided that Nexus of Fate going back into your deck was a good idea. Can I just like, can I just like have words with them? Am I getting a turn? Am I getting a turn? I think I'm getting a turn. Oh, you know what? I messed up. I should have drawn seven there, right? My auto pass just lost me the game. I think my auto pass just lost me the game. I should have, 10 out of 10 should have drawn seven there. I'm just gonna concede because I'm bored. So if we would have drawn, if we would have drawn seven, what would we have gotten? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I would have gotten to looting and then looting again. So I would have drawn one, two more. I found, I don't think we would have gotten there because we wouldn't have had a Borbergos in our bin. Oh, we hit Rex Age Brutality. Yeah, so we would have we would have won the game if my auto pass hadn't been going on. So my auto pass ended up killing me. Although I guess they could have pathed pre-combat, so like uh, they made a mistake and then I made a mistake back. They I think they had enough lands to path plus colonnade me, which means I couldn't have drawn cards. That's close. All right, well, we're waiting for the second match in this league to pop with this Necrotic Goose deck. I'd like to thank everyone for hanging out. We got about 800 people in chat already. My name's Jeff Logan. I'm a full-time streamer and content producer here on Twitch. I'm here playing Magic 30 plus hours a week. If you enjoy my stuff, please consider subscribing to my channel. My subscribers are the people that keep me employed here full-time. I wouldn't be here day in and day out without their support. If you're one of the many people in the world who has Amazon Prime, if you link your Amazon account to your Twitch account, that gives you Twitch Prime included with that for free and Twitch Prime gives you a free channel subscription every single month to a channel of your choice here on Twitch. It doesn't cost you anything extra, and it supports my content just like a normal sub would. Uh, past subscribing can also support my stuff by checking out some of my very wonderful sponsors. Cardsphere.com would love to help you turn some of your cards into other cards direct with other players. There's no haggling. They just take a 1% fee off the top. InkedGaming.com would love to help you customize your gaming experience. Using code JEFF12, you can save 12% on custom playmats, mouse pads, binders, and bags with them. CoolStuffInc.com buys and sells a lot of cool stuff, including TCG singles. Using promo code JEFF5, you can save 5% on your orders there with them. And of course, this stream wouldn't be possible without viewers like Anironix, Justin Nivik, and all y'all out there. I do appreciate the support. Remember, if you are enjoying what you see, hit the follow button at the very least. Gar Garrett was here. Thank you for the brand new Prime support and welcome. We're 0-1 after a small auto-pass punt in Game 3 against Control. We'll see how...
I'm counting that as hard casting Gristle Prig because I'm going out for lunch and don't know if I'll be back later. See you. Peace, Red. Catch you tonight for some uh, Overwatch. So Hooting Angels is a plan B. Yeah, so Hooting Angels is like a double plan B. It allows us to um, just like beat them down alongside Lotlith Troll, but it also allows us to evolution into Gristlebrand and Borborygmos. So it kind of has like a, a dual axis plan B, so to speak. It's like plan B's in two different ways, effectively. Overwatch, yeah, after I am done with the magic segment for today, so we're going to do uh, six or seven hours of magic, like uh, at least seven hours of magic. We're going to do four decks or so. Uh, Christy and I are going to play some Overwatch tonight. We'll be streaming that from her channel, but I will host it. Try to keep this channel just for card games, so any video games Christy and I are playing together, we're streaming on her channel. I, what, what could possibly be going through your mind that you like, look at my hand and I've already discarded two gristle brands and you go, you know what? I'm going to make them discard the third gristle brand rookie XP. Thank you for the 10 month three subscription. I have cometh upon 10 months of service to thy liege. I demand my composition in 10 months compensation in 10 month, 10 minutes of silence. Thank you, rookie. Lage Law, thank you for checking out, honey. I appreciate that support. Welcome. Yeah, if this had been if this had been Agorio's vengeance, we'd have been we'd have probably killed them here, right? Read. It's harder to watch Saffron Olive at the rate at which you finish leaf. And I remember one time I tweeted and he asked me, I think I was doing like a three hour stream and he asked me how I was planning to finish a league in that time. And I was like, most of my leagues average like 90 minutes. Three months for three gristle pigs in the bin. Thank you, Bruce, for re-upping and welcome back. No, he can't be regenerated. We even drew the green source for the evolution. Ooze, ooze. That's sad. Well, yeah, Caleb plays at a really good pace. I definitely, I watch a good bit of Caleb when he streams modern in the, if I'm around in the evenings. The only time, the only time I ever get off of his channel is sometimes his music. Sometimes people troll with music and it's really annoying. Waste not, okay. All right. Well, if we find a two drop, we can put uh, we can put ooze into play. So looking for a two drop. Well, that's that is you know. Well, we discarded an ooze. Er damn shuffling. Thank you for the thank you for the two month three or the the uh checking out honey there. God just it all blurs. I think we're dead, chat. I think we're dead. We are getting out meme today. You are not wrong. Definitely getting out meme. Yeah, definitely, Brian. I think I think all successful Twitch streamers can definitely be classified as entertainers, right? Like I think I think that's an important part of being being successful at this, especially like magic. We're all here because we're engaged in magic, right? But like, there has to be an entertainment factor on top of that. I think out memed, out smarted, out played. Thank you, Steam Flogger, for the biddies. Uh, 
I need a hero. Do 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 Well, how do you how do you think Gristlebrand lines up against the deck full of discard spells, Chat? You think you think this Gristlebrand's gonna line up well against their deck full of discard spells? This one. And so someone was asking about the Hooting Mandrels earlier. This is this is one of the line, the axes that Hooting Mandrel allows us to interact on. Oh no! Oh no, if they have if they have a terminate, we actually can't draw. That's it, I didn't realize how low we were. I actually did not realize how low we had gotten. Robang, thank you for the $10 donation. I appreciate that. Thanks for providing lots of great content. I enjoy watching. I'm heading to China soon to learn Kung Fu at a school and won't have time to watch your streams for the next six months. Don't see see you then. Don't stop enjoying it. I'll I'll hopefully be here, Rob Bang. Good luck. Good luck in your time at China. We actually have another iteration of a news deck in the queue at some point soon. Probably tomorrow, actually. Rad bumped it up. Okay, Bedlam Reveler. Fatal Push, Blood Moon, Anger. Okay, Blood Moon's a good one to know about. Did they find a Terminator or a Liliana here? Uh, we're on the Zero Outer at this point. It's unfortunate. We're being, we're being, ooh, all right, let's, uh, let's get these in here. Come, come to Poppy. Come to Poppy. All right, uh, Fatal pushes out. That's all I want to do. I think it's Fatal Push, Ellis out, just bring the Baloths in. Uh, Brutality's probably pretty medium here. I'm going to bring in a couple of Abrupt Decays to be able to kill. Uh, actually, let's bring in Reclamation Stage probably better. Let's do that. Okay, Zizzle, sadly my girlfriend doesn't understand slash Carol that I will have a tiny wooden practice sword next month. Doesn't make me any less excited. Let's get our meme Monday on. Thank you for the five month resubscription there. I appreciate it. Welcome back. Now for people asking how do we keep gaining life, you don't actually need to gain a bunch of health with this deck because Necrotic Ooze gets the text box and usually you're going to have like, you know, five or six lands to kill them with. So the combo here is you get Gristlebrand plus Borbrigmos in your discard pile, and then Necrotic Ooze lets you draw 14 cards and discard a bunch of lands to kill them. That's our that's our combo. This seems fine. Uh, it's not that short, Pythreon. We we basically just took it and got it to a point where it's like no longer in his face. He was it was like long enough that like when he was eating, he'd like pick a fork up to his mouth and like catch his hair with it. And I just want, I wanted him to be able to eat without dealing with that. Uh, since we're going late tonight, I'll I'll have Christy bring him down when uh, when they get home when he gets home when he gets off the bus. Uh, goat bots, pimped up monk. Goat bots. I don't know that it's strictly, it's strictly worse dying. It's definitely less explosive, but it, it adds a backup plan. So like the question that we need to ask ourselves is like, is the backup plan meaningful in any amount of games or does it just, is it just strictly worse? If you played a walking ballista, you could also discard creatures. I think that's a little... I thought about that, but I think that's just too narrow. Choice 19. 
the big seven five donation. Can you brew your best elder deep fiend deck with pleasure? And that's enough money for that to happen tomorrow. All right, all right. I'm kind of excited now. Elder elder deep fiends like that card's like kind of a jam. I really want that card to be good and modern. Remember that time we didn't draw any lands and we died? Pepperidge Farm remembers. All right, that's all she wrote. Um, Saffron just posted a Deep Fiend deck on Twitter. Yeah, basically, so like the the pieces that you have to go into, and thank you for the support, Choice19. I really appreciate that. Um, what got what got bumped? Nothing got bumped for today, Nivek. That was those were donations for me to build decks for later this week. So basically, there's two key pieces that need to go into an Elder Deep Fiend deck. The first is we need to figure out what creatures we're sacrificing to emerge it. And the second is we have to figure out what tools we're playing to not die while we get to Elder Deep Fiend. I'll have to figure that out. It's probably, it probably wants to be a Thoughtseize, a Thoughtseize deck, Thoughtseize Inquisition deck. Yeah, I'm not going to build that on stream, Nivik. It's definitely something I need to put some thought into. Well, it'll be tomorrow or Wednesday. I might not have time to build it before tomorrow morning because I'm streaming till like 10 o'clock-ish tonight. And then I'm probably going to like go to bed. Elder Deep, it's kind of like an evasive list misbind, right? Delve Threats might be okay. The problem with Delve Threats is you don't get value off of sacrificing them. So, like, while you get cheap, cheap Deep Fiends, like, is a cheap Deep Fiend, like, that good? I don't think it is, really. I think you'd rather have, like, value two or three drops. Like, Matter Reshapers, Phil Grief Familiars, uh, Kitchen Fing, stuff like that. Second Gristle Pig. Not a good pickup. Not a good pickup. Wonder if we want like cathartic reunions or something like that in here to be able to discard cards more consistently. Managed to go 10 3 at my first GP last weekend without chances for top 8. I dropped and drove home with my friend. <laughs> Did you really not want to play the last two matches for cash? Was like 12 3 not going to cash? Ad nauseum, it looks like. Could be some kind of brew as well. Nope, that's ad nauseum. All right, well, we get to turn three. We get to turn three Hootie. We can turn four Evolution. Fair, fair, Chris. Definitely been there. I I remember, this is my favorite, my favorite MTG Grinder story. MTG Grinder stories. Um, I remember getting home at 6.30 a.m. because of a blizzard, taking a shower and a 20-minute nap, and then going to work at 8.30 a.m. Oh, we're dead. Wow, Angel's Grace spoils uh, Serum Visions, kills us here. Kills us. Technically, we don't die. Technically, they just win the game. Wait, what? Wait. How did they win without drawing a card? 
How did... Oh, this wasn't their upkeep. Okay, there we go. That that makes sense. It was their upkeep. I was like, they didn't they didn't draw. Upkeep. Upkeep makes sense. I missed I was like, I must be I have to be missing something here, right? Something I am missing something that's probably pretty obvious. That was that was an upkeep upkeep double thing, got it. We, uh, it might be, it might be a quick first league here, chat. It might be a quick first league. We don't really have tools to be competitive against uh, a faster linear combo deck like this. Abrupt Decay and Rec Reclamation Stage are like pseudo interaction, but not really. Dead ABR, thank you for the three month resubscription. Keep up the great content, keep up the great support. Thanks for, thanks for the quarter of a year and welcome back. What do you, what do we think? Let's take a vote. Do you think what what's the first deck? What's the first deck we're gonna be able to win a match with today? Do you think do you think we're gonna get on the scoreboard with blue white fog, or is it gonna take until we get to Mardu Gorios to be on the scoreboard? Think, do you think we'll get on the scoreboard with fog? Someone will scoop. <laughs> Oh, it's funny because it's true. You don't think we're getting on the scoreboard until Traxos? I don't want to 3 that many leagues. They missed a land drop. Okay, sweet. So our, our mediocre beatdown plan might be good enough here. So this puts Tassiger into play. Thylin, thank you for the brand new Twitch Prime support. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. The tempo deck you posted that you 5 owed. Why did you play Soul Scar Mage over Monastery Swiss Spear? You should, you should read, you should, you should think about that and you should watch the league. You should think about that and you should watch the league. You should read Monastery Swiss Spear and look at the card type on it and you should watch the league. Arc, you are Master X85. Thank you for the 31 month resubscription. Hey, appreciate that. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. The, the Swift Spear question is an easy one to ask if you're not, you need to think about the role of the deck. People that are that the key to playing the blue red deck is role assessment and monastery swift spear even if it was a wizard i think would be worse than soul scar mage because she pigeonholes you into an aggressive role whereas soul scar mage can act as a controlling card if we need it to be so soul scar mage in general was just an excellent control card just an excellent control card in the entire league and even, like I said, even if Monastery of Spear was a wizard, I don't think it would be playable. I don't think it would be playable in that shell. Yeah, it's just, uh, this is probably a game-winning Abrupt Decay. Yeah, it, it punched the clock and went to work against basically everything. So this is uh, nine damage. It Soul Scar Mage really overperformed. If I if I hadn't 13 0 in Indy, I would have I would have been sad that I didn't try it earlier. Yes, yeah. Soul Scar Mage is a great example of an addition to a deck that fixes problems the archetype actively has. It fixes the 
don't have enough early threats problem you have on occasion, and it fixes the it fixes not having enough threats on occasion, and it fixes the large creature problem. Why didn't I go for lethal there? Please explain how I go for lethal there. In some of your matches, you are a bad burn deck, but you're not always a bad burn deck, just, just some of the time. You discard. Listen, my name is not Alex, and this is Magic Online, not Paper Magic. So, the things like that aren't an option. We could actually just lose here. Like, their Lotus Bloom is coming off suspend here, and if they have Ad Nauseam, we're actually dead. If you could play eight Delvers, would you play those over Soul Scar Rage in a heartbeat? That's not good enough, Rump of Steel. And, and Scred doesn't kill large creatures until you have, like, five lands in play. And you can't play Steam Bench. You can't play... You can't play Spire Bluff Canals. You can't play... You can't play Mutavolts. Like, there's so many reasons why Scred is slow and not good enough. We wouldn't have gotten a creature to kill them. All right. Uh, well, that... That was a failed experiment. That, that was a failed experiment. Chat, again, if you want, if you're in, if you missed the leagues we played last night, everything I play gets archived on YouTube. Go to the YouTube channel. Check it out. I, I did a wrap-up segment like I always do. If you're interested in blue-red, go watch the blue-red video. We're going to be focusing on the other decks that we're playing now. So, rather than having me reiterate, please just go watch it. That's why, that's why I have archived. As far as this deck goes, um, it, it just doesn't have... This deck doesn't have consistent fast linear draws, and it's not particularly interactive, so I think it just, like, doesn't really check any of the boxes we're very interested in checking in Modern. So, this is like, you know, if Modern was like a, a turn 4.5 or turn 5.5 format, this deck would probably be okay, but, like, realistically, Modern's like a turn 2.5 format. You need to be killing people or interacting by the second turn of the game, or you're going to die very consistently in this format. And this deck doesn't consistently tick either of those options. Alright, so up next...